If anyone watching has kids, start indoctrinating them on Linux instead of letting Microsoft and Apple indoctrinate them. Hey, I'm Thomas, and if you've been around on my channel for a little bit, you probably realize that I use Linux. And it's not like I'm a hacker or a programmer or even that smart. I just started using it when I was a kid and kind of got stuck into it. All right, so let's start all the way at the beginning. In eighth grade, yeah, last year of elementary school, I was moving into high school and I found Linux. Well, as is with most people, I started with Ubuntu and well, you know, Ubuntu was really cool. And the first time I saw that sidebar, I'm like, oh my God, it's got like a dock on the side. As a kid who grew up using Vista and XP, it was really cool to see. I still remember showing it to my parents and being all hyped up about it and them feigning some interest in it. It, it was so cool for me. And as is what happens to most people, I started distro hopping. I remember during that summer, I got yelled at multiple times for being up too late, discovering just new things about different distros. I think during that summer, I used more distros than I have since. I downloaded so many distros. I'm just really glad my family had unlimited internet access because I'm pretty sure if we had like a metered internet access, I would have taken up the entire bandwidth. But by the end of summer, I had gone back to Ubuntu. I was actually dual booting Windows and Ubuntu because it was still a family computer. Now going throughout high school, I didn't actually mess around with these shows as much. I got a few spurts of interest in distros but also during that time I realized my computer felt a little more laggy so I switched over to Lubuntu. It was during this time that I sort of forgot it was something interesting and while I knew that most people didn't use Linux for me it became a regular part of life. It became just the norm. Now I've been doing a lot of different things since I've graduated high school including going to network administration for one semester at a community college where I actually was taught Linux commands. I have since completely forgotten about it. I remember they taught me how to use Wim at some point and now I get terrified every time I have to like look up something and it's like oh you have to do Wim. I don't use it anymore. I remember being taught it I don't know how to do it anymore. The only thing that has stuck since elementary school at this point is I've been using Linux this entire time. Now, I know what regular people say about Linux. They say, oh, it's complicated. It's hard to set up. Take it from a guy who grew up on both Windows and Linux. Whenever I had a problem with either Windows or Linux, I would just blindly Google it and do what the forum told me to do. Mostly it was just copy and pasting. And if I did that, it would fix the problem 60% of the time. 60% of the time, it works every time. For both operating systems. I actually don't think Linux is that hard to grasp. I think it's more that people didn't grow up on Linux like they did with Windows or Mac OS. So if anyone watching has kids, start indoctrinating them on Linux instead of letting Microsoft and Apple indoctrinate them. Now you might be wondering, how do I start? Well, honestly, I think it'd be pretty simple. You just need to show them how to get to YouTube on a Linux platform and they'll probably figure out the rest themselves. Now, you might be asking, what if my kid's a gamer? That is a dumb thing to say. I had friends growing up who are gamers and their operating system was Mac. If there are kids growing up on Mac OS and playing games, kids growing up on Linux have no problem. Thanks to like Steam OS and Steam Deck and all that stuff. Steam is porting a lot of Linux stuff all over. Hey, idiot, we use Linux. Most of us aren't going to have kids. Again, this is a dumb thing to say. I assume at least a few of you have extended families. Just put it out into the great wine. You're cleaning up and you're getting rid of one of your computers and you don't want to throw it away. I'm betting someone will come and grab that computer off of you. All you have to do is make sure it's running Linux. And most people aren't going to be able to put Windows on the computer and they'll just be stuck with Linux. And this is another great thing. You have more space so you can buy a few more knickknacks to fill up your room. Now, if anyone has questions on how to indoctrinate the children into using Linux, put it in the comments below. I'm sure if I can't answer it, someone else will help. So at some point I actually switched uh, from Lubuntu to Zubuntu and I used that for a long time. I actually don't know why I switched over to Zubuntu. I, uh, it might just have been, I forgot, like I misspelled it, right? Cause I have dysgraphia, I think where I mix up words and stuff when I write stuff down. So I think at some point I needed to download a new copy of Lubuntu. I misspelled it, downloaded Zubuntu, didn't really notice. 
and at this point I probably used Zubuntu for most of my life. Um, other than Zubuntu, I had to use Gallium OS, which is one for Chromebooks. I had an old Chromebook that I uh, got rid of Chrome OS and put Gallium on. Gallium was pretty decent actually. It's not anything too great, but it works. Well, nowadays I use MX Linux on basically everything. I mean, I've used basically most of the popular stuff. I used Mint for a bit. I tried Elementary. Uh, what else? What else? I tried Kai. Oh, I ran Puppy Linux on most of my like quick projects that I were building, you know, like laptops and stuff just to make sure something was running on it. Uh, yeah, I use a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm using MX on everything now. I, I think I like MX the most. I might switch over at some point, but I'm pretty stuck into MX Linux right now. I want something a little prettier though. I, I know you can make MX a lot prettier, but eh, I don't want to really work on it that much. I'm, I'm doing the thing where I'm taking the dock and hiding it. And I'm, I, I made like, I took the regular bar and then turned it into a tiny dock and then hit it and then put another side dock in for like my, like the volume and the battery and stuff. It actually, I really like it cause it gives me a lot of space. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, click a video. If you want to see one of the videos, I don't know, subscribe, like, comment. I don't know. All right. Do whatever you want. Have a good one, I guess. Bye.